market has been telling us this all year. It's just that we've had the Fed, you know, dovishness kind of covering up some of that. There's been hope for a trade deal, which has also been somewhat viewed as a put. And I would argue that both of those puts expired in the last couple of weeks, meaning the Fed did their 25 cut. Uh, some people view that disappointingly. Uh, I would agree. The curve and obviously bonds agree with the view that they're behind the curve. So that put now is not in the money anymore. OK, it's probably, you know, it's probably it's probably expired in some cases because people think they probably can't catch up and that's not going to change things anyways and that's been our view all along is that this is not about the fed this is about the business cycle and then the second thing is this hope for a trade deal which looks like there's been you know cold water thrown on that in multiple ways we had the tweet obviously this week which got a big rally going but then of course now we're trading below those levels after uh, you know the, the, after we get the the, the the it looks like it's not going to be as bad so i think th those are now off the table which means we got to focus on what we got to focus on the fundamentals which have been deteriorating all year, okay? We've had a benefit of falling rates, which has helped valuations. And I think the, the data is going to continue to get worse. And so we stand by our call for 2700 this quarter. What about the so-called Trump put, if you will? Has that expired as well? Well, that's a trade put. Same idea, right? Meaning that the trade situation uh, looks to be unresolved. And it's going to be hard to resolve this in the short term. And, and even when you know, the administration backed off a bit uh, yesterday, uh, it, it, lasted, it was a one-day rally. So I think the market is telling you that this is not going to save us from the deceleration in growth that we're now seeing with the bond market and what the, and what the stock market, quite frankly, has been telling us all year, Scott. All right, Liz, so you tell me what you should tell people to do in this kind of environment, if Mike Wilson's right. The game has changed, so to speak. The game has changed, but I would urge people, first of all, not to overreact to something like this in a one-day move. I mean, we were up drastically yesterday. We're down drastically today. The market is going to watch those signals, like a twos, tens inversion. First, just to talk about the inversion very quickly, it's not a meaningful inversion yet. A meaningful inversion is somewhere in the tune of 25 basis points for a longer period of time. We haven't even seen one full day yet. So let's just give it a minute. And then you have to wonder how, how important is an inversion anymore. But to Mike's point, we need a tailwind, and we have to figure out what that new tailwind is going to be. Trade is putting a little bit of pressure, obviously, on business spending. We need that to pick back up to drive through the economy. We might need central banks to go in more of a coordinated effort around the globe and really agree to save us here.